The unlucky Danny Wright, who's relegated to the bench alongside Paul Fernandez. It's a team beautifully balanced with midfielders Paul Wade and Mike Peterson certain to play crucial roles. Adelaide City have also made one change to the team that demolished minor premiers Melbourne Croatia 6-0 in the final round. Number nine, Ernie Tapai returns after a long spell out with an ankle injury. And Joe Barbaro, who showed so much promise late in the season, is relegated to the bench alongside another youngster, Michael Brooks. The referee is the 29-year-old Sydney accountant, John McConnell. Underway with the visitors, Adelaide City getting things underway on a beautiful afternoon in Melbourne. They're kicking the goal to your right. It really is a magnificent afternoon. We've had some early morning showers and uh, just to, enough to soften the turf. And it's been a marvellous build-up to this preliminary semi-final. First sortie for Ivanovic. Chance for Maxwell. Knocked away from him by Steve Blair. South Melbourne coach, Ferenc Puskas, one of the greats of the game. From Hungary, Spain, and now South Melbourne. Lucky enough to have him. Shoboth. Again, Blair in the way. The counter from uh, Tapai for Maxwell. He'll be surrounded all day. That time was Steve Blair. Experienced customers, Maxwell and Blair. Plenty of noise coming from the, the bench. Paul Schillerbeer. He's had a bit of trouble with a knee injury in recent times. Looking into the stun, South Melbourne. Aurelio Vidmar, a brilliant save by McLaren. That could have easily been the opening goal after five minutes. A spectacular save by McLaren. Aurelio Vidmar, who's been declared by Paul Wade as one of the real dangers for South Melbourne today, almost making it 1-0. Aurelio Vidmar controlling a bouncing ball, and McLaren does superbly to tip it away. Bruce McLaren, no doubt encouraged by that brilliant save off Aurelio Vidmar. Came off Alex Tobin, Aurelio Vidmar back. And he finds Palacetis. Was wide, but Zabika remonstrating with his defence. Joe Palacetis, who's been inspired since given the opportunity late in the season. And that almost something out of virtually nothing. Joe Palacetis, it seemed came off Aurelio Vidmar on the turn. And whipping it round too far. Going against Steve Maxwell. Jurakovic, the long ball looking for Palacetis. Great save. From Tremboli. So it really is a generally one on one situation as Paul Tremboli uh, causes the goalkeeper to do what McLaren did at the other end, Aurelio Vidmar. And Zabika, nice touch there. Congratulating Tremboli on the, on the shot, but Zabika even happier just to tip it over the bar. Corner to South Melbourne through Peter Salakis. Going short, looking for Peterson. Wade can't get there. So relief for uh, the Adelaide City goalkeeper. Marvellous atmosphere. It's both sides of the, the ground in the grandstands are, are packed. Tap by. Back to Viet. The way by Jurakovic. He's having a grand game for South Melbourne. Shoboth switching sides. Cut out beautifully by Peterson. Here's a chance for Taliodorus. Peterson says quickly into the penalty area. Goes low, finds Trimbali, chance for Trimbali. Goal! Opening goal to South Melbourne. A brilliant effort by Paul Trimbali. But it was all set up coming down the field. After 22 minutes, South Melbourne break the ice. They lead 1 0. Paul Trimbali getting the ball from Talia Dawes. He had too much time to, from Adelaide City's point of view. The turn and easily placed away from Zabika. Talia Dawes just choosing the options. Palacides was there as well. Trimbali ended up with it. And jubilation for South Melbourne.
Ninth goal for Paul Trimboli. You'll remember that one as South Melbourne go one up in the preliminary semi-final. They go for it again through Trimboli. A courage from Steve Blair knocking away from Viet. So things have flared up here at Olympic Park for the South Melbourne supporters. So they have the opening goal after 22 minutes. And the free kick given away by Healy on Steve Maxwell. That will certainly inspire the South Melbourne defenders. Steve Maxwell, offside. So the South Melbourne bench sitting back, enjoying proceedings at the moment, but knowing too well that Adelaide City have plenty of striking power and ability to get back into this semi-final. They've only played 24 minutes. And the best count goes on. Mr. Coglu against Tapai. Great persistence from Tapai, getting support from Shoboff, but Poster Coglu persists. Throwing stuff from the South Melbourne captain, cut out by Aurelio Vidmar. Tapai. Poster Coglu in with strength. Shoboff, can he get the cross in? Looking for Viet, just to chest it down for Melta. Brilliant goal by Adelaide City. What a magnificent shot by Sergio Melta. Countering within three minutes. So it's one all after 24 and a half minutes. And that will look brilliant in replay, that shot from Sergio Melta. The cross from Shoboff. They're chesting it down. And then Sergio Melta picking his spot. And off the inside of the boot, placing it away from uh, Bruce McLaren. Brilliant counter from Adelaide City. Back comes South Melbourne. Salakis, almost 2-1. What a brilliant passage in the preliminary semi-final. Robert Tabika roaring at these defenders. Rudio Vidmar finds Salakis. Rudio Vidmar again. Went to go over to Shoboth. Eventually ends up with Tapai. His place has been a worry for South Melbourne. Carl Vietas in another one. That was a golden opportunity for Adelaide City. Maybe Carl Veer just went a fraction early there, but the Carl Veer could just wait and try and place. This pace of Tapai really causing concern. Now look at Veer, there's no one with him. And just away from the far post. I've been searching for Maxwell. The switch for Schillerbeer. His first real sortie, he does it regularly. The stream four in the penalty area. That one's kept loose. And another attempt by Carl Veard. An explosive shot by Veard. He could have easily had a couple of goals in the last five minutes. But again, superb build-up by Adelaide City. This was a low ball. And Carl Veard is putting it over the crossbar. And you see that Schillerbeer has plenty of time to place it. And so does Carl Veard. Very close to half-time. South Melbourne attacking in the last couple of minutes. So often the goals happen in this period. Players seem to relax, think there's a break coming up. <laughs> Half time is signalled by referee John McConnell in the preliminary semi final. It's been a terrific first half. With Sergio Melda equalising in the 24th minute after Paul Trimboli made it 1 0 to South Adelaide in the 22nd minute. So Trimbali getting his goal in that 22nd minute. The comeback immediately by Adelaide City. And Adelaide City probably having the better of the latter 20 minutes after half-time. But half-time at Olympic Park in the preliminary semi-final. South Melbourne won, Adelaide City won. Melbourne starts proceedings in the second half. Still, the conditions excellent. And 
one all at half time. South Melbourne, the early chance through Palacides, laying it off to Salakis. Sabika preventing the corner. That sharp movement early by South Melbourne. Maxwell goes back into Blair. Carl Vitt. Back to Maxwell. Maxwell for Shoboff. So both sides having a sortie in the opening minute of the second half. Robert Shoboff, the recruit of this season from Hungary. He represented an under-21 level. Shoboff's not able to get around far enough. Coming to the byline. It's like the injury for Paul Trimboli. That's a tragedy for South Melbourne. And Danny Wright, who played so well in the last game against Heidelberg, gets his opportunity. Shob off. Releasing Veer through the middle. He's got Tapai surging into the penalty area. Carl, he's got a player on the right. Veer could go all the way. It'll be a brilliant goal. It won't be a brilliant goal. It deserved it. What an outstanding individual effort by Carl Veer. And it wasn't the pace of the shot. You're almost wrong footed Bruce McLaren. Carl Vitt, good on his feet, good balance, just stumbling and getting it away from McLaren. Maxwell, hounded by uh, Durakovic. Shilabir for Shabos. Tabai! Brilliant goal by Uni Tabai. A comeback into the NSL. And both he and the supporters love it. As in the 60th minute, Adelaide City, after all that pressure, get the goal they deserve. Zora Matic is not smiling at the moment. There's a long way to go yet. Still half an hour. But so many options there for Adelaide City. Robert Shoboff, a beautiful cross ball. Tapai not marked and can place it where he wants. Shoboff, a Clever ball, tap by with his speed, jumping into position. 2-1 Adelaide City. Knocked away from Wade by Aurelio Vidmar. Beautiful touch from Tony Vidmar. Tap by, whose pace has worried South Melbourne all day. Melton, quick look round. Aurelio Vidmar, number 11, called into action. They're running on the right by Schillerbeer. Just ignored that time by Adelaide City. Giving themselves variety. Maxwell. Not quite. Blair. Wade. Fellet City surrounded and noticeable how quickly the Adelaide City players come back in numbers to help out the fellow defender. Schillerbeer, Melter, Aurelio Wittmar, Schillerbeer, Shabos, Shabos beautifully into the penalty area, individual effort, magnificent football from Robert Shabos, turning Salakis inside out, and Robert Shabos who's been plagued by an ear injury, latter part of the season certainly uh, great to see him on the park. And you notice Salakis chasing, working hard, one way, then the other. To Rakovic. Head of Shilabir. Shobos. And a most impressive player for Adelaide City. But the turn only finds Postacoglu. South Melbourne captain. Over to right. Ball loose and an own goal. It goes against Alex Tobin. An own goal. Scores a level. It's just what I was talking about. Something can come out of nothing. And Alex Tobin chips the ball back into his own goals. It's two all after 67 minutes. And Alex Tobin cannot believe it. 
South Melbourne supporters can't either. Ball coming across from Taliadoras. And Tobin just gently knocking it back into his own goals. Taliadoras, who was involved in the opening goal by Trimboli, it came off the head of the South Melbourne player. And Tobin just flicking it into the goals. Heartache for uh, Adelaide City, but great joy for South Melbourne. Two all after 67 minutes. Brent Puskas, who would have seen so much of that in his uh, marvellous career playing and coaching. Adelaide City trying to counter quickly. Melder on for Viet. Outside the penalty area, strength from Blair. Way back. Aridio Vidmar, Salakis, Shobos. Adelaide City, the numbers on the right. Carl Viet, meant to go back to Aridio Vidmar, but taken easily by Wade. Salakis set alight. South Melbourne inspired by the crowd. Talia Doors goes forward again, he goes to the byline. Grand effort by Kim Paliodorus, marked by Paul Schillerbeer. But the game's come alive again. But Adelaide City won control in that goal by Uni Tapai after 60 minutes. And that was tremendous effort by Taliodorus. He just bore towards the byline, put the pressure on the defenders. South Melbourne supporters come alive at Olympic Park. So do their players. Tony Vidmar looking for Tapai, marked by Postacoglu. Salakis. Zirakovic. Amazing what a goal will do. Fantastic atmosphere at Olympic Park. Alex Tobin. For Melta. Tony Vidmar. Switch to Tapai. Up they go Maxwell. Maxwell had Tony Vidmar with him. So no joy for Steve Maxwell. The cross, Steve Maxwell. Taliodorus. Got Salakis with him. Bayon says the referee and play the advantage. Salakis. A soft ball. Easily taken by Ivanovic. Just over ten minutes remaining in the semi-final. 2 all, Adelaide City forward with Viet. Maxwell comes back to Viet. Long way up from goals. Good, strong, rugged defence from Peterson. Taliodorus gets inside the penalty area, taken down, and it'll go to the penalty spot. It goes to the penalty spot. As Kim Taliodorus, I mentioned, his strength and his straight and hard running has caused problems for Adelaide City. Joe Palazzini is signalling for some attention for South Melbourne. And South Melbourne have the penalty kick. Paul Wade has the ball. And this with under 10 minutes to go could de decide the preliminary semi-final. Taliodorus has taken the knock. I'm sure he'll be smiling. Paul Wade against the beaker. A goal to South Melbourne. They lead 3 2 with under 10 minutes to go. Wade heads towards the supporters. And Robert Zabika can only ruefully think about the goal that's gone to South Melbourne. Absolute jubilation for the South Melbourne supporters and the hard working Paul Wade. Zabika goes the wrong way. Paul Wade turns and points to the grandstand. Oh. 
71 minutes gone. They'd rather make that 81 minutes gone. And South Melbourne lead 3-2. Joe Palazzini's still not happy with the free kick, but he'd be happy with the scoreline. Maxwell and the handball going against Mike Peterson. So Adelaide City, who led 2-1 after 60 minutes, now have to level with about 10 minutes remaining. Great to see Talia Doris there on the right, limping back, free kick taken by Adelaide City, and just par parried away by uh, McCann from Ivanovic's shot. Deceptive uh, attempt by Ivanovic. Still the pressure on the defence as the corner kick comes from the, uh, the gloves of McLaren. So Adelaide City trying to pick up a leveller. The head of Blair. Cleared away by Talio Doris. Tapai crashes into the uh, South Melbourne player. And Eddie Tapai has been set off for the elbow of Joe Palazzini's. So Ernie Tapai he scored a goal to make it 2-1 early on in this half. has been sent off by referee McConnell. Now, Ernie Tapai waits, and it was a depth and elbow by Ernie Tapai. It was certainly there as Palazzini's came towards him. So Joe Palazzini's taking a heavy knock, and that replay did show that Ernie Tapai used an elbow on Joe Palazzini's and hence the reason for the sending off of Ernie Tapai. Confidence sky high with South Melbourne. But it's Salakis almost up the post goal. It's a goal to South Melbourne. Tim Taylor goes. That is the sealer. That is the sealer for South Melbourne. And doesn't Kim Taylor Doris deserve that goal? It's 4-2 to South Melbourne. They played 87 minutes. It's been a fantastic comeback by South Melbourne. And they look to be gone after 60 minutes. So Peter Salakis hit the post and pouncing as Kim Taliodorus to put it away. I mentioned how well he played in the uh, second half, Salakis. And Taliodorus deserved that goal. The shot off. All eyes on the referee now. The whistle's about to blow. Tobin's put its high in the penalty area, way back. The referee looks at his watch. Olympic Park will erupt. And South Melbourne will go through to the major semi final. It's a long count. And Olympic Park explodes for the South Melbourne supporters. Broken the ground, the last six finals they've lost, but they've done it in style in the second half here today at Olympic Park. Led by an inspirational Paul Wade. His penalty kick, level proceedings, jubilation for the South Melbourne supporters and their players. Coming back from 2 1 down early on in the second half to level a 2 all with the own goal by Alex Tobin. The penalty kick to Paul Wade and the icing on the cake from Kim Taliodorus in the 87th minute, making it 4 2. Semi final Olympic Park. The final scoreline South Melbourne 4, Adelaide City 2.